Virginia men's basketball team, as you may know, is awesome this year. But not just defensively, they're offensively a force as well. One of the big reasons is Kyle Guy, and thrilled that he's joining me right now here on the show. All right, Kyle, thank you. Uh, but first of all, congrats on a successful season so far, and, and thanks for making time for us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right, so a win against Louisville this Saturday, and you guys lock up that number one seed headed into the ACC tournament. It's the only team you've lost to this season is Duke. How much is revenge or, you know, getting the best of these guys on your mind? Uh, I would think that as a team, we're really focused on one game at a time. So um, I think winning ACC regular season title is, is the number one thing in our mind right now and a goal that we set for ourselves at the beginning of the season, along with the uh, ACC tournament championship and the NCAA uh, championship. So we lose to Duke two times, and we still accomplish all three of those goals, and it's a win for us. You and your teammates have consistently been a top five team all year. It means you're going to get everybody's best shot every single night, every single game. You play elite ACC teams. How much does that benefit you and your teammates as you get ready for the goal that you're going to endeavor to uh, to make good on, to try to win an, NBA, an NCAA championship here in a few weeks? Yeah, absolutely. I think that it uh, holds us to a higher standard because we're getting everyone's best shot, like you said, and we have a target on our back. And that just allows us to play, uh, you know, with a, with a focus that, you know, most teams can't have for 40 minutes. And we are in 40-minute territory, so um, Coach preaches on that a lot. And we're just, you know, like I said, trying to be as focused as possible because we know we're getting everyone's best shot. You, you, you seem fairly surprised on Twitter that DeAndre Hunter wasn't a Naismith semifinalist. Do you feel like, and there's a lot of programs out there, you guys are one of the one or two or three best in the country right now, What's your sense about whether or not Virginia's getting the respect as a basketball program and team that it deserves? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, DeAndre is one of the three best players in the country. Um, and, you know, there's nothing against any players that didn't make it. You know, got nothing but respect for their games and, and their programs. But um, I'm with DeAndre every day, and he's easily one of the best players I've ever played with. Um, but in terms of, you know, the credit that we get or don't get, I don't really care about that, and I don't think anyone on the team does. Um, I was just looking out for a fellow teammate that I, you know, think got wronged. And um, as a team and, and, and credit around the nation, we know in-house that we're one of the best teams in the country, and, you know, we don't need anybody else's approval. Well, at least here in Riders Block, we, we, we know what's going on. And Parkers are paying attention in part because radio colleague Tiki Barber, proud Virginia grad, tells us about you guys, I, I swear to you, every single day so we're we're in the loop and tiki is making sure that we uh we know what's going on and, and he's also pointed out it's true coach bennett tony bennett has turned this program into an absolute powerhouse in a very very short amount of time in just a decade and it's hard to be consistently great in this sport at this level but virginia has done that can you give us some perspective maybe the uniqueness of of coach the methods the approach whatever it is that has created this level of consistency yeah, absolutely. He's one of the most genuine and transparent people, let alone coaches that I ever met. Um, it's one of the reasons I wanted to play for him is because I knew that he would make all of us better men than we were players, and that was, you know, very important to me and, and a lot of guys around us. So, um, you know, he will, he'll jump on your ass every once in a while, but for the most part, he's level-headed and he uh, treats everybody the same, very fair. Um, but he expects uh, excellence, and you know, we have our five pillars that we live by and play by. So. When people think of Virginia basketball, certainly the defense, and that's a critical way to win a championship in any sport, comes to mind. You guys are really dangerous offensively as well, too. As you look back at your time at Virginia, how much does this team, do you think, have some depth, have some weapons that maybe other teams in the past that you were part of weren't able to muster at the level you can this time around? Yeah, absolutely. We're shooting the, the three ball really well as a team. We're a very versatile team. Um, we play about eight or nine guys, but all those guys uh, are important and bring a uh, lot to the table in their minutes. So, um, you know, I'm just really proud of the way this team has progressed throughout the year and, and, and the way the coaching staff has handled, uh, you know, all of our roles. Kyle, take us into your world a, a little bit. Obviously, it's one of the best teams in the country. It's one of the best programs in the country. And you're, you're a captain. What does that mean for you? How has that experience been 
What does that feel like in terms of not just the honor, but but the responsibility? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know Jack Salt and Ty Jerome are the other captains. They're some of the, the the better leaders that I've been around. Especially Jack Salt. He's a lead by example guy. Uh, Ty is very vocal, um, and I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. So, um, like I said, it's a really it's really just an honor because Coach just started doing captains last year, and you know we had great examples with Devin Hall, Isaiah, and Jack again. So. Um, you know, just honored. And, you know, when I look back at 20 years when I'm done playing and I'm, you know, telling my kids and grandkids about what life was like playing for Coach Bennett, one of those things is that he trusted me to be a captain. Being a sports fan, competing in sports is obviously joyous moments, but there are some painful ones too. And you've been particularly candid about dealing with last year's loss to UMBC. How, how did that experience shape you and your team, you as a player, and why is this year going to be different? Yeah, the past two years we have um, made a lot of history, uh, both good and bad. And, and the greatest thing about this season is we've made history because no one's ever lost to a 16 seed. So that means no one's ever won after or lost after. So we have the best record ever after losing to a 16 seed. I think um, we, we keep that in the back of our mind that we did lose to them, but you know we're just trying to move on from it, never forget it. Um, helps us have a chip on our shoulder and stay focused every night, like I was saying earlier. All right, a few quick hits before, for you before we let you go, and really appreciate the time. Who's the guy on the team that spices up road trips the most, the best? Who's the funniest guy in that locker room? Um, probably Marco Anthony or DeAndre Hunter. Those two are, they're both reserved um, when they're you know, out in public and stuff, but they're so funny and extroverted when they're around the team. So I'd have to give it to those two. All right, and who does uh, – you can tell us. We won't tell anybody other than everyone watching. Who does Coach get the most frustrated with in, in, in practice over the course of the season? Uh, probably Mamadi, uh, D. Kite. He, um, he's one of the most athletic kids and has, you know, sky's the limit for his potential. But, you know, sometimes he has some mental lapses. And Coach, like I said, he expects excellence. So he'll jump on him every once in a while. But Mamadi's a fun-loving guy and, you know, he gets over the place. All right, last one. Can anyone on your team, any of your teammates, beat you on a good day, on a good day for, on, in a three-point contest? Um, no. no simple as <laughs> <job. laughs> Hey, we love the honesty. Congrats on the success. We hope it continues, and uh, thanks for making time for us. Appreciate it. Have a good one.